Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching clicking this video. Thank you for much taking time out to watch me do what I do. Yes. So today we are here because I have a very late review that I'd like to share with you guys. And it's actually for, you can't even actually see it, can you? Beauty Bay palettes. So I have the Berries, Earthy and Midnight. And just to let you know, I will actually be giving one of them away. So the one that I've chosen to give away which one am I giving away? <laughs> I'm gonna be giving away the Earthy palette, this one here. So I won't be opening it, I won't be taking it out of the box, I won't be doing anything to it, I wanna keep it as it is. So please stay towards the end to find out how you can get your hands on this palette. So as I said, I'm gonna be reviewing um, the two palettes which are kinda of like, I wanna say extensions because they're not quite similar. The release that Beauty Bay did based on the color schemes of limited edition palettes. So the earthy one that I'm giving away is part of the Wilderness palette. The Berries palette is an extension of the New Romantic palette that got released 2021. The Midnight palette is an extension of, I think it's even, it's an extension and in between Book of Potions palette and the Age of Opulence palette. I think there are some colors that are quite similar in between the two. The Age of Opulence I haven't actually used on my channel and I've actually used the palette itself but I will be showing you the different, um, the comparisons basically of each of the palettes um, at some point in this video. So I wanna say thank you very much to my subscribers for coming back. Thank you for the new subbies that have just joined the family. Yes, welcome. Thank you very much for coming by. I am very grateful. So um, let's just delve into this palette because I don't wanna intro you too long because I realize that some of my intros have been quite some minutes <laughs> in my past few videos. Today, we are going to go through the base palette. The reason why I have the three, I do want to buy it. I do have the limited edition palettes already. So I thought, is it a waste of money? Is it not a waste of money? But when Beauty Bay were doing a three for two option and these palettes were involved and part of that promotion, might as well. They're 10 pounds each and I got three for two, which I paid 20 pounds for. These are 16 pound, 16 pan palettes. So let's open this up because I've been holding it up in the box since. It comes in a bubble wrap sleeve to protect it, which is good. People have been complaining about Beauty Bay recently in regards to not receiving their like orders on time i do have the next day delivery option i received a message i didn't urgently need what i ordered but i received a message said that they actually moved their warehouse as to why the shipment has been delayed but when i ordered this one before 5 p.m i did get it the next day so i think they're getting their delivery situation in order i don't work for beauty bay but i found that out so i thought i'd share <laughs> so yeah needed that she's bright this is the berries palette beautiful the thing is i experienced the same thing if a lot of people that have ordered this palette experience when deciding to to buy it most people already have the limited edition palettes like myself and they were torn whether or not to get this or get, not to get it because this year and i've seen a lot of people make these claims of this year i'm trying to be very very careful on how i spend my heart and coins because i think i went a bit over myself when it comes to purchasing makeup and stuff so i'm gonna make sure i try to hold back and think about whether or not i need to make a certain purchase so this year alone i've only bought three foundations i know i'm not going to use all of them by the end of the year so i really need to like thought process some stuff but anyway this was a bargain that i could not refuse i believe they said that this formula of eyeshadows is literally the same as a limited edition i even think that the color story makes more sense in these palettes than it did on the limited editions because the wilderness palette which was ugh. okay the look wasn't my favorite and I'm not even proud of that video. I'm even thinking, do I just take it off YouTube? Because I just thought it was just ridiculous. My whole vibe was off. I was thinking too much. I kind of understood where they were going with it because I made this whole explanation in my head to make it seem right. So when I get monochromatic palettes like this, it makes sense to me. Like, it's just a beautiful palette. It's just pretty. And this is the one I'm going to use today. So I'm just using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I'm using my P. Louise Base in Rumor 04. As you can see, I'm not setting my lids. So I'm gonna go into this dotty brush, JH30. So it's a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill collaboration brushes. I'm gonna go into the shade journal. So I'm just gonna pat this like, look at that color. Beautiful. But packing this color on, it's just so stunning. It's like, it's translating differently. I'm just gonna put it on my dry hand so you guys can actually see. You can see how it's a bit different on the hand than it is on the eyes. It's basically coming off a bit darker, which I'm not mad at. 
I haven't done a coloured eye in ages. I've been on the whole soft glam situation. When I first started my channel, I was actually doing colourful looks, but I felt like maybe they weren't really well received or people didn't think that this girl knows what she's doing. <laughs> So I kind of stayed clear and just went on a soft glam route for like a whole moment. I don't know if it's me or is it getting a bit patchy around here, hence why it's a bit darker. So no more products on a brush. I'm literally just going and trying to blend the edges so it's a bit more diffused. And I'm using obviously the same brush. So I'm going to use my Made by Mitchell brush and this is the ME1. So it's like a blender brush. I'm going to use this colour here called rosewood again very soft color just gonna place that against the first color that we've used so you can actually see the true color of it so i'm going to use that to blend out that first sh um first shade that we've put down which is general okay so as you can see i've gone quite higher than i actually wanted using the same brush i'm going to go into a brighter pink just to kind of like get in this area here so it doesn't look like it's just one situation and i'm going to go into this shade called bubblegum which is this bright fuchsia kind of pink so it's this one here so i've done a few you guys can see the difference here which is not too bad this is not what i actually wanted but it's okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and intensify the colors and then i'm going to cut my crease so i feel like we're at the point where we need to be just trust the process it's not much but trust me this is <laughs> this is my attempt to cut my crease i don't think it's even straight to be honest so i'm going to start off with the inner area so i'm going to grab someone actually recommended this i didn't even know i had this brush to be honest this is the jacqueline hill amorphe and collaboration brush this is jh41 so i'm going to use this to pack on the colors that i want to use then i'm going to go straight into cloud so it's like a pinky, silvery situation. Just watch that. Apparently people said that it's, more, it's kind of like the Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills kind of like shade. It is putty because I'm just as I've just put my brush in it, it has actually created a dent, if you guys can see. I don't like putty colours because the way it's looking on the brush. I'm not going to put it too far up because I just think it's a bit too bright for my liking. I don't know if you guys can even see it. So now I'm going to go into Nova, which is this colour here. It is crumbly, but that's it there. Let's just mix that in with that previous shade. Can you guys see it? I hope you can. <sighs> There's a bit of crumbulation going on, so that's why I've got a bit of shimmer on my face. But anyway, now we're going to go into a deeper shimmer. And that is going to be... I think I'm going to go into this one called Jura. Yeah, because I think it'll be nice to blend in that um, darker shade using the same brush again. And this one's like a hard shimmer. That's that one down here. Okay, that's a bit dark. <laughs> Just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So... And now I'm going to go back into that first brush and I'm going to go into to blend in the edges. Normally I do this first, I don't know why I didn't do this first this time. But we're just trying to blur out that harsh outer corner area so that we have a seamless transition. Okay, as you guys know I'm not really a fan of shimmers. So the fact that I actually used a few shimmers today says a lot that last shade which was Jura I kind of used that dark journal just to kind of go over it so there's like a, a nice transition between um the shimmers and the matte colors I think I'm also going to play with the mattes when it comes to this palette because the shimmers are nice when they go on they are really nice but the crumbulation for me the apple crumbleness of when you're trying to get it out of the pan let me just show you guys what I'm talking about it's just really messy they are beautiful but i would just rather not anyway i'm going to use the very again dirty <laughs> morphe and aerial brush i think it's the 818 it's a very small detailer brush and i'm going to go back into that first shade called journal and i want to define just above the cut crease just to make it pop a bit more so i don't know if you can see the difference 
between this eye and this eye. So this is the eye that we have just actually defined a bit more. I'm gonna grab a really tiny blending brush made by Mitchell Brush and this is the ME2, which is called um, Bubblegum, this one here. So that was the third color that we used to blend out the journal color. And I'm gonna use that just to tickle over the definition that we just created so that there's a nice flow okay so this is the eye look that i came up with so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the rest of my face and come back to you guys my final thoughts of what i think of this palette so yeah so guys um this is the finished look <laughs> um what do we think it's okay i think it's okay i think it's nice it's very similar to what i did with the new romantic palette and can we just say about the face I used Huda Beauty, the old foundation. And can we just, I used a concealer. I used a shade uh, tan. And I didn't realize how good it still was, if that makes sense. The face is so smooth, it's disgusting. <laughs> but I like I the end look. It's been a while since I've done a color situation like this. For the bottom, I did go in, actually for the top, let's just talk about the top. I went in with a bit of Inglo um, black liner here, just to kind of give a less unlined situation. And I went in with my, into my lower lash line with the same eyeliner. And then I went in with some of the colors, which mainly the darker color, my waterline. I blended it out with that second shade. So this palette, um, this is very reminiscent of the new romantic palette, which I'm gonna bring out right now. Different styles, I mean, this limited edition. I didn't know it was limited edition when I actually, it actually came out. Didn't use it as much as I thought I would, but for that moment, for what it was for, which was Valentine's Day, I really liked what it was giving. So these are the two palettes. As you can see, they're not really the same, but not too far off. So this is more monochromatic, monochromatic, oh, I can't even say it, when it comes to berries, like your, your pinks, your berry tones there's not much of a red there's a hot red in here called i think it's called lilo which is this one right here the new romantic it has a black shadow which i love which i feel could have been in here but obviously it'll probably go against the whole color story it's not giving berry tones it's not giving red tone it has a lot of brown tones in it it has a lot of warm tones as well as your pinks as well i probably couldn't create the same look in regards to the purple um, accent that it has because it doesn't really have a shade like this bottom deep one called journal that I use first That's why I call it an extension of new romantic palette. It's not the same as a new romantic palette So if you do want to get this palette, you'd like a palette that has a monochromatic story Do you have to run out and get it? You don't have to probably a lot of palettes that you may have that you can actually create these looks from But next time I use this palette, I'm actually gonna go full-on matte. I'm not gonna use the shimmer I mean shimmers are not really the best of friends. But anyway, um, let me know what you think of the look in the comment section below Did you get the palette? Are you gonna get the palette or is it just something that you don't want to spend your coins on which I obviously I would understand the giveaway as I mentioned I shall be giving away the earthy palette I'm actually gonna insert uh, a picture here so you can see the color story it is actually nice for me this is better than a wilderness palette I'm not gonna lie in order to receive the earthy palette the 16 pan earthy palette from Beauty Bay in the comment section down below if you're not subscribed you have to subscribe mention that you subscribed and for everyone to be in a chance of winning this palette you have to actually put the comments give me green so if you're a new subscriber put new subby and then including in that comment give me green okay for those that who are subscribed already all you have to say is give me green okay so that's how you're going to get the chance to win this palette so what's going to happen is once i upload this video to enter to win this palette will be for seven days i will update on the um description bar below if it's going to be extended maybe because i don't want to say anything it will be open for seven days from the date of the upload of this video once it's seven days hopefully announce the winner on my next video i would have contacted that winner to email me their details so that we'll see privacy and everything in order for the person to win this palette so that's what we're gonna do so again that's for the earthy palettes so yes thank you very much guys for staying to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too long and i hope you enjoyed my look using the very palette from beauty bay thank you very much guys for watching and i hope that you stick around and watch more videos but if you haven't subscribed please subscribe but yeah i'm blabbing on now 
and I'm looking at myself in a mirror and it's like, what? So I'll see you guys in my next video.